too low cost to work here, there aren't any lengthy contracts or expensive contracts that tie people in, and it's a stimulating environment. People like working alongside other people trying to run a business as well. It's interesting when you talk to the startup businesses or young businesses that have moved in here, the one thing they all say is it's helped their business develop and grow in a way they wouldn't have expected. And that's happened because they've shared ideas, worked with other people working in the building, shared clients, found new clients through other companies that are here too. And that's a great environment for startup businesses to work in. It's really modern, the facilities are great. There's a brilliant opportunity to network with other businesses, get support from the other businesses that are here, um, and a few names. If you need someone specific, someone will always know somebody to refer you to. It's been brilliant. I think it's going to do folks a load of good. There is things like the workshop, that's the main thing, um, and there is a, a community of people offering all of the services that are all working together and networking together. I think it's going to be a lot easier for people, and it's such a nice environment. You know, it's by the sea, uh, and the properties are nice, so I think there's a, a huge advantage for people starting their businesses here. It's Sandling. Sandling, okay. Yeah. I'm a virtual okay. and James Businesses that come into environments like this really do grow together and you know, as the MP for Folkestone my big interest is that we do all we can to help people that have got great business ideas turn those ideas into great businesses. When a business comes in I think their initial plan is to get away from the home, so come out of the bedroom, find somewhere to focus and perhaps structure the day a little better. It's probably the best move that, that's happened to me um, in terms of coming into a professional working environment being engaged a lot more, um, finally get more work done in this environment. The working from home certainly has its distractions with children and dogs and even the washing up sometimes. We've got a fantastic network of businesses here and actually you know, we talk sometimes about a sort of growing a sort of tech and digital cluster in, in folks in which there is. Uh, and I, I think we need to do a bit more to promote awareness of actually some of the skills and some of the services that do exist here as well. Not only are those businesses doing well in their own right, but they are able to support other businesses in the community as well. He's a huge advocate with regards to business. Um, he supported um, a lot of our customers as they come into the building. And he's someone who always follows up as well. There's nothing like you know, somebody promising something that doesn't happen. Uh, Damien's put a lot of businesses, certainly our factory floor customers who have moved up through the building uh, in connection with other contacts he has. So he's in, obviously in a prime position to do that. I run uh, business surgeries, um, they, they're once a quarter as a kind of dedicated business surgery and we now run them out of uh, this building in Tontine Street and they're open for anyone uh, who wants to come along uh, and get information or advice about uh, what government or local authority schemes are there to support businesses or just get some general advice on, uh, on you know, what the government is doing to support the business community and they're advertised through my website which is damiencollins.com and also through the Chamber of Commerce and through the workshop itself. The event today was perfect for getting to know lots of people. We've met lots of new contacts and I'm sure you know other people are the same.